Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to have another Starbase tutorial and this will be covering movement and flight control units slash main flight computers. So this is a really difficult topic so I'm going to be putting this into two sections. The first section will actually be a tutorial and we'll show you how to set everything up. The second section will actually be troubleshooting for if something goes wrong. So let's just dive right into the tutorial. So right here, this is the main flight computer. When you spawn it in, it looks like this. It has all zeros on the right and then has all these levels on the left. That's perfectly normal. Then over here, these are the three different kinds of flight control units. So they all come from machinery and they're the top four items. So basic is blue, advanced is red, and premium is yellow. Now, the differences between these is the amount of things they can do. So a basic, you have these five fields. Now on an advanced, you get two more. So you get up, down, right, left. And then finally on the premium one, you have three more. So it's just a matter of how many features you want in your FCU. It doesn't truly matter though, uh, it, unless you're going to be doing very complex maneuvers. So then uh, we'll get to hooking everything up. So when you're putting down all of these things, so on your actual ship, the main flight computer, its orientation does not matter. This can be however you want it, wherever you want it, as long as it's connected by a cable and is bolted in. But this is one of the most important things. The FCU has to have the arrows pointing forward and this side facing up. That determines the direction that your ship will fly. So that's one of the big issues I've seen, so make sure you do that properly. All right, and so when we come over here, you see how there's FCU MFC IO 1, and then there's a zero right here, and then MF, sorry, FCU MFC IO. Now, what you want to do, so you don't have to change this field on the MFC, but you want to go to the FCU and you want to add that one in right there. That will link these together. And as you can see, you can have two FCUs connected to one MFC if you want to have multiple control points. So from there, what you want to do is I like to just leave these fields the same and copy and paste them, but you can rename this field and it will still work fine. So what you do is you take this field and there are 50 of them and you copy and paste it into something like this. So this is the main th one of my main thrusters. So you'll put it right there and then it should automatically assign it that string of numbers. That'll mean it's connected. And then you want to do that for all of your thrusters, maneuvering, triangle, or box. Th that's very important to do. And if it doesn't show up with the number, sometimes it's okay, but most of the time it's not. So make sure you're connected up with a cable. That's one of the most important things. So then, once you get everything connected up, it should all have those numbers in it, and you shouldn't have more than 50 thrusters on a single ship. And one caution I will give you, so box thrusters, they can only function as single units, but triangle thrusters are a whole other realm. So with a triangle thruster, they can be connected to each other. So when you're doing triangle thrusters, like in this heavy fighter, if they are connected to each other, you have to name them all to the same power level. So these are all thruster power level 3, because if they were to be different values, the ship would be really wibbly wobbly. That's kind of the best way of explaining it. But it would be wobbling all over the place because it wouldn't know how to calculate the forces. And right before we pop into the other part of the tutorial, I wanted to show you guys something. So on larger ships, you may have more thrusters than MFC slots. So how you remedy this is by grouping thrusters. So how we did the triangle thrusters, so how it's all power level 13, and then this one is just all power level 14, that's how you'll want to group your thrusters. So you could like group these four as the same 
name and these four is the same name. Now that will decrease thruster efficiency, but it will allow you to go and have more than 50 thrusters on your ship. And so now let's uh, switch over to the other part of this tutorial. Alright, and now for the troubleshooting part of the video. So, troubleshooting, that's one of the biggest things that you're going to have to do with an MFC FCU setup. And there are many things that can go wrong. So, when troubleshooting, there are a couple things you'll want to always check first. So, you always want to make sure that your cables and pipes are hooked up properly, especially if you have separate networks on your ship. You need to make sure they're all connected back to your FCU and MFC, and as well as having propellant. That's one of the big issues that I see a lot, as well as other things like you need to make sure that the FCU and MFC are connected and that they share that value. If they don't, they'll just, they just won't work together and your ship might not move at all. And if your ship is wibbly wobbling, uh, as I said earlier, you might want to check that these are all renamed to the same thing. If they aren't, that can be causing that. Or if two of them, two thrusters, have the same values. If they have the same values and they aren't supposed to, that will really mess with maneuvering because your flight computer will think that they're, there's a spot in between them uh, where the thrust is coming from when that's not really happening. And so that can cause a lot of offset and issues when you're trying to turn. So sometimes your FCU and MFC may be connected correctly, but for some reason your ship just doesn't fly. So one way to check, like if everything's properly wired up and piped up, is to just go into the test flight instance. Make sure you're in test flight, otherwise uh, your data fields could be reset. So you want to go over to the thruster that you think is having issues, and you can just erase that for now and just put in like 100 and you see it thrusted a bit now it, it fell apart because something hit over there but as long as it's outputting that means you know it's connected and so there's another issue down the line so for instance it could be that a cable connection has broken along there and that's messing everything up and that's something to fix so it's really just a process you've got to find does the thruster actually work in the first place and then follow it back all the way to the FCU, MFC and the propellant tanks to make sure that everything is working as it should. And another issue that I've found that people can have is if your ship is slightly pitching upwards or downwards that is the sign of disconnected propellant but what could be happening is if your maneuver thrusters are firing 100% the entire time, it could just be a lack of maneuver thrusters. So don't ever rule out a lack of maneuver thrusters for one of your issues, but only do that if it's really the last resort. Then we'll get a little bit more onto the control scheme side of things. So you want to make sure that your chair is also connected to your FCU and that all of the controls are connected as well and that they are bolted in properly so that you can actually control them and that they're giving outputs to your FCU. You can check this in the universe by hitting U and then if you set your lever, lever centering speed to zero and then we just move it like that so it doesn't switch but then if you catch your FCU you can see well other than it's actually spinning uh, you can see that there's a number here. That also corresponds to naming things properly. So you want to make sure that your fields on your levers are renamed to what the FCU needs. So FCU rotational roll, this is also named FCU rotational roll, and that will connect them. And then there are two more final things that are kind of big ones that you want to check. First, are your mounts connected? So if they're green, that's all good, but uh, otherwise you need to make sure that they're properly connected. And then the other thing is that, are your propellant tanks open? So you wanna make sure that this is one. Nowadays it defaults to one, but you should always check this, especially if you're using an older ship. So thank you for watching, and if you liked it, like, and if you aren't subscribed, I'd ask that you please subscribe. And also, so today's artwork is made by Furiouski, I believe that's how you pronounce it, but I will have his name in the description as well.
so you can look them up. Alright, thanks for watching.